Welcome to the EMQX Cloud BYOC Deployment Tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a BYOC plan and deploy it to your Google Cloud account using the EMQX Cloud Console. Before the deployment, let's make sure we have the following preparations. Ensure you have a Google Cloud account for BYOC deployment and have assigned the necessary cloud resource permissions to your account. Refer to the BYOC Deployment Prerequisites section in the EMQX Cloud Product Manual for the specific permission list. Ensure you have registered an EMQX Cloud account and logged into the EMQX Cloud Console. Prepare an environment with Ubuntu 20.04 for executing the deployment script. You can create a virtual machine instance using the Ubuntu 20.04 image on Google Cloud or use a local Ubuntu environment. Additionally, before the deployment, you need to prepare the EMQX Cloud BYOC license, a domain name for your EMQX service, and the corresponding TLS SSL certificate. With these prerequisites in place, we can proceed to the next step, deployment configuration. Here is the EMQX Cloud Console. Let's create a new deployment Select the BYOC plan and click the Deploy Now button to enter the deployment configuration page. Here, you can choose the cloud platform and region you want to deploy to, as well as select the cluster scale based on your business needs. In this case, we select the Google Cloud US East 1 region. Enter the deployment name as BYOC Demo. Choose the VPC CIDR block. You can select the appropriate one based on your actual network planning. For the cluster configuration, specify your MQTT session limit and pub sub TPS. Then we will recommend the instance type and node quantity which meets your requirement. In this demo, we choose 5000 connections and 10000 TPS. Click Next to proceed to advanced configuration. In this step, you can add cloud resource labels according to your needs, which will help with the identification and management of created cloud resources. For example, you can fill in the resource owner and add a cost center like the product department. Click Next to proceed to the confirmation page. On this page, you can review and confirm the configuration information specified in the previous steps, and you can also modify the project associated with the deployment on this page. Once the information is confirmed, click Deploy. The deployment guide on the right provides detailed instructions and prerequisites for the deployment process. Now, let's follow along and execute the deployment. Before executing the deployment, please ensure you have prepared the content listed under Prerequisites. Here, we have prepared a GCP VM running Ubuntu 20.04 in advance. You can also use your local Ubuntu environment. Connect to your Ubuntu environment using an SSH client and navigate to the user's directory. In this environment, we have prepared the domain SSL certificate and the EMQX Cloud BYOC license file, which will be used in the commands later. Back to the deployment guide page, we copy and execute the commands one by one. The first command is to download the necessary toolkits for the deployment. The second command is to extract the downloaded toolkit and navigate to the extracted directory. The third command is the deployment execution command. Before executing this command, we need to fill in the parameters, including your Google Cloud Accounts Authorization JSON file, the domain name and corresponding certificate for your EMQX service, and the path to the BYOC license file. After filling in the information, execute the command. This command involves creating images and cloud resources, so it may take some time to complete. In the video, we have accelerated the process. Here, we need to enter yes to confirm the upcoming resource deployment. Press enter to create the resources. When you see apply complete, it means the cloud resources have been deployed. Next, we need to bind the output IP address to your prepared domain name. In the demo, we use Alibaba Cloud's domain name resolution service. You can use your preferred DNS service. 
we add a record, select the record, bind the IP to my demo, and click Confirm. DNS record propagation usually takes a few minutes. Back to the SSH client, our script will check the DNS every 30 seconds to verify if the domain name binding is successful. Finally, when the output displays deployment successful, it means the entire deployment process is complete. You can go to the Google Cloud Console and refresh the VM list to see the newly created agent node and two UNX nodes. At this point, we have completed the BYOC deployment. Now, let's quickly verify our deployment using the MQTTX client. Go back to the console page, click Complete. It will go to the project list page. Here, you can see the newly created BYOC deployment. Click on the card to enter the deployment details page. You can view the instant status, metrics, and connection information. Click on the sidebar on the left and go to the authentication page. Here, we need to add an authentication user for future client connections. Now, copy the EMQX service address. We will use the MQTT TLS port 8883 to test our connection. Open the MQTTX client, create a connection, choose the MQTTS protocol for the server address, enter the address and port, and provide the authentication username and password. In this example, we use a CA signed certificate on the server side, so we select CA signed as the certificate type. After completing the configuration, click Connect. The connection is successful, we can input a topic and payload content and click Send. At this point, we complete the deployment verification. Now, start your journey toward a seamless and high-performance MQTT experience. Thanks for your watching.